Alrighty people, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited. I'm bringing you all a review of a company that reached out to me and wanted me to review some of their products. Yeah, I'm excited to give their products a go. So the company is Rosalind and they sent me over two of their poly gels to try out. They actually let me pick and I picked out a glitter, two poly gel glitters, which is silver and in red. So I'm gonna open this up so we could take a closer look. the bat I'm noticing that their poly gels are 60 ml which is two fluid ounces which is bigger than any poly gel that I've ever had actually I think the biggest I've seen is 30 ml oh yeah these are huge look how big that container is I mean that's massive okay so this is the glitter silver and then the glitter red here and yeah, these are big these are the two poly gel colors um, again they're 60 ml so that's two fluid ounces and let's see it says the poly gel must be cured with the LED light and I think that's it that's on here it says the same thing on the back here you know packaging is simple you know cute so that's that so let's go ahead and open these up and get the swatching okay y'all we have my swatch sticks here I'm going to start prepping my swatch sticks with base coat so that the poly gel adheres to it better I have a few swatch sticks where the poly gel has popped out so I put base coat in my swatch sticks and let's see what these colors are looking like so I'm gonna start off first with the glitter pink wait hold on okay <laughs> I, was like, I thought it said glitter red but it says glitter pink here so not sure if it's pink or red I guess we'll see here when I swatch it but I thought it was red so let's see sorry about that my battery went dead while I was squeezing it out of the tube but let's see how this swatches okay oh okay yep seems like a nice firm consistency which I really like okay I do really good with firmer um, poly gels because you know I'm new to poly gel so having ones that are like runny and that go all over the place don't really work too well for me but yeah I'm liking how that looks so far I think I'm gonna really enjoy working with these I like the consistency a lot all right so yeah yeah that's definitely a pink color it almost kind of looks like a rose gold color so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds yeah I really like these big tubes I like the fact that they give you so much product. You don't see that often with poly gel kits these days. So that's really nice. Um, the smallest I've seen poly gels come in is 15 ml. And for somebody, you know, maybe somebody who does like super long nails, I don't feel like that's really enough product. Oops. I don't feel like that's really enough product. But for somebody who does shorter nails, it might last a little bit longer. Or for those who do poly gel nails, that, I mean, the lazy girl method that might last. They might last a while, but you know, having a bigger tube, 60 ml, is definitely it's going to give you a bigger bang for your buck. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cure this one too. That's the silver. The silver is really pretty. This is what the glitter silver looks like. Swatch. It's a really pretty um, silver color, and I think with the top coat it does it a little bit more justice. So yeah, that's really cute. This is what the glitter pink looks like, even though the box says glitter red. Yeah, this is what the glitter pink looks like. This is absolutely stunning. It kind of looks like a rose gold color to me. It is really, really pretty. I like that a lot. So I think that I'm going to go in with this color here because that's what I'm leaning more towards. So yeah, yeah I'm going to go ahead and think about what design I want to do. I'm going to take off these one of these sets. I haven't decided which one yet. Um, and I do actually have full tutorials on both of these sets. So if you all are curious about how I got these looks, I will leave them both linked down in the description box below. But I'm going to take one of these sets off and then we go on hop into the set. Okay, happy people, I am back and I have decided what design that I am going to do. I am going to go in with my square tips and then I do have my flash curing lamp. Um, I recently hauled this and I'm really lo loving how it's working out so far. So I'm going to have that here to put my tips on. I'm going to be adhering my tips with the Born Pretty 6-in-1 nail glue. I've actually really been enjoying using this nail glue a lot. I'm going to go ahead and just turn my light on. Okay. Alrighty, so all of the tips have been applied. I am now going to go in with a thin layer of the 6-in-1 nail glue and that's just to kind of um, even out that little ledge that's in between the tip and my natural nail. 
I normally go in with base coat and do that, but I want to try out this six in one glue in a couple of different ways, you know. I'm all about making my products, you know, be multi purpose, and so that's what I'm going to do really quick. Flip that over for 10 seconds and then cure. So this is what the nails are looking like after the base coat is on. And so now I'm ready to attempt to sculpt my nails. So y'all already know I am not the best at sculpting and shaping my nails. So that's my goal for 2022 is to practice it more. And so I'm going to channel my inner Nelly in this video um, because she is like the poly gel queen and she knows how to sculpt and whip the, that poly gel into place. And so, yeah, y'all, we're going to see what we can do. So I am going to go in with this glitter pink color first. Um, I do have some brushes that were recommended by Nelly. Um, so thank you so much for this recommendation. I am going to be trying them out today. She was saying that having the right brush really helps with sculpting the poly gel as well. So I'm not really sure which brush I should use. I'm thinking I'm going to use the number 10. Okay, so we're going to pop this bad boy out. Okay, looks ready to go. Hey, Miss Nelly, let's see how this works, okay? I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm not good at sculpting this stuff, but we're gonna see how it works. So, like I said, I'm gonna go in with this um, glitter pink color, and I'm gonna attempt, I'm also gonna attempt an ombre for the first time, y'all. Oh, Lord, be with me, okay? Be with me. Nelly always does the 2B method, right? So she talks about squeezing out the poly gel to cover one half of the nail, and then doing like a like an apex bead or whatnot. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do here. So I'm gonna squeeze out maybe like this much, okay? And this, yeah, that looks like too much, wow. <laughs> Jesus. It looks like too much poly gel, but it's on the nail, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see how that goes. So I'm gonna get real close for you guys. Here we go. Yeah, I think that's too much poly gel, but we gonna work what we got here. So she says to dip your brush in alcohol and drain out most of it, and then use the rest to kind of mold it into place. Okay, all right, not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. I hope these nails don't come out too thick though. They look a little thick side, okay? Okay, all right. So far, so good. It's not too sticky, which is what I was afraid of, so that's pretty nice. Um, and I think how far I brought it back was good. I'm going to just try to flatten it out. I do like this brush. I will say that. I do like this brush. So let me just try to pat, pat it out on the side here. Okay, get it even. Get it on the other side here. And I just really want to cover that the nail tip. Alright y'all, this wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be actually. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good actually. Yeah, I applied too much poly gel. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take some of this off. And I plan on doing the same type of... Well actually, I plan on doing a marble nail over here. So I think I might just take some of this off and put it over here. I'm going to take some off. This is too much and it's going to be too thick. I'm going to take some off. And I'm going to just, just set it right there on the nail over here. Hopefully that doesn't move too much. And then I'm going to try to fix that gap. Because I don't want my nails to be too thick. Okay. So we just I'm going to just drag the rest of that down. And I think that should cover the nail pretty well. Whatever excess comes off, I like these brushes though, whatever excess comes off, I'm just planning on putting that on the other nail over here because my goal is to try and do a glitter ombre, okay, so I'm going to set that right here, now. okay, I know y'all this is just getting a little out of hand already but I, th I think it's going to work out just fine, I think it is. I think that's a better situation. You know, the first time I ever sculpted poly gel, y'all, oh my God, like those nails were thick. They were chunky. I, the first time I sculpted it was with the Evie Patty Gel. And I love, love, love using her Patty Gel, but baby, those nails came out thick, okay? I'm gonna leave, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the video down in the uh, description box, but y'all, I was like, ooh, I don't know if this sculpting is for me, okay? But I think I'm liking how this is looking, so 
Yeah, y'all, I think this looks, this looks pretty good, right? I think so, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. All right, y'all, so that's what the nail is looking like. I really like how this poly gel works. Like, it's, it cured after 60 seconds and it was really easy to work with. So yeah, that turned out pretty good. Now y'all look, y'all remember I put this poly gel over here. I almost put my whole hand in the lamp. So just, if y'all doing what I'm doing, just be mindful that this, you don't want it to cure like this. So I had to kind of put, Put, put my hand in the lamp a little weird, but I got it to work. So next I'm actually gonna go in with this um, McCart uh, Poly Gel in the color Bloom. And this actually came in their Your Nail Lab box, um, I think last month. I haven't had a chance to use the boxes yet, and so I wanted to try and put it to use. So this is gonna be my, I guess, base color that I'm gonna ombre out the nude with. And so I'm hoping this, is not gonna be too runny because I think when I swashed it it was but we're gonna see and one one of the things that Nelly talked about when you're working with the cuticle bead is to um, get it kind of in the middle to build the apex right and then she talked about not having too much alcohol on your brush so that um, because if you flood your cuticles with alcohol then um, I think that leads to like lifting or something so yeah so I'm draining out most of the alcohol from my brush and let's see if we can get this cuticle bead together, y'all. Okay, Nelly makes it look so easy. I think these brushes do make a difference, though. I will say that. Okay. Oops, I'm out of focus. Okay, so it's important at the cuticle area just to kind of really use a light hand to make it nice and tight. I mean, I don't know how to teach this because I'm still learning it, but this is just kind of what my attempt is at what I'm doing. And if your brush gets a little too dry, then you just dab back into the alcohol. I'm taking most of the alcohol off of the brush though. So, okay. Yeah, I think the brush makes a big difference though. Okay. All right, looks like I got a little bit of, ape okay, I look like I got a little apex situation happening. So this is supposed to be an ombre nail. So I don't know. I did put too much poly gel, y'all. I don't know how to do an ombre. I guess let's just try to fade it out here. All right, that, that looks like an ombre to me. We're just gonna go with that because I'm not really sure that I can get it to look too much better and I don't want to mess my shape up because it looks pretty good. All right, y'all, so this is what the first nail looking like. All right, now y'all know, like I said, I ain't the best at uh, the shaping thing, but it it's okay, there's an apex. I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll try to carry encapsulate and try to even out the shape of the nail, but that's what we got so far. Now, next on this nail over here, I wanna do an ombre. And actually on this nail, y'all, I gotta channel my inner uh, Sugar. So Sugar D Clips, um, she recently did a video where she did this gorgeous, stunning marble poly gel nail she mixed like a bunch of different like poly gel colors together so that's what I want to try to do here I do have some product on the nail already she started the marble off on like a spatula stick so um I think I'll probably just have to do it on the nail itself since I've already kind of started it that way so I guess what I'm gonna do is oh no I like the way she did it though okay so I'm gonna just try it the way she did it and just hope that <laughs> Too many colors don't mix together but she took poly gel on a marble stick and she literally just put like little sections of the different colors so I'm gonna have this pink this rose gold glitter and this silver color here I'm gonna mix all these colors together she had made some gorgeous nail y'all so let's see if I can channel my inner eclipse here okay Then she literally just took the spatula, right? And just like started placing the stuff on the nail and it kind of created its own marble in a sense. Oh, that one underneath the nail. <laughs> oh, this is messy. And then she kind of did the same thing like on this side and then on this side. Oops, I don't even think I'm in frame. I think I missed it. So something like this, y'all. And then like this. I'm gonna try to flatten it out first and see if I need to go in and add more poly gel. She said to just flatten it. 
and it's it kind of already naturally creates the marble and I'm just gonna just flatten it into place and it's supposed to create like a natural marble already let's see how that worked out here it's not looking too marbly to me okay um, let's see take this and swirl it around a little bit like this I don't want to swirl too much though. Like so. And then if there's any colors that you feel like you're missing on the nail, you can just go in with your spatula and just add that color on. So I do feel like I'm missing some pink hair at the cuticle area. So I'm gonna just add some pink down there. And I think on this nail, I'll have to come back through and build up the structure of the nail with like a clear. I think it actually turned out okay. Wow, all right, it got a little messy there, but it's looking pretty good to me. Yeah, that looks good to me. Wow. Yeah, that looks pretty. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, that looks pretty, y'all. I like how that's turning out, it looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in place before I mess anything else up. All right, y'all, so that's how that marble nail is looking. I really like how that turned out. Yeah, that turned out really nice. So great hack, sugar, that's awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for, for my index and my um, ring finger. And then on my pinky, I think I'm gonna go in with that silver color and do an ombre. So yeah, y'all, let's try this process one more time. I think I might know what I'm doing now, just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some product onto the nail, like so. And then that should be enough. That might actually be too much. Dip your brush in alcohol, drain off, drain off most of the alcohol. And then you literally want to just pat it into place. And I'm, I'm really liking the consistency of these poly gels, to be honest, like they, are very very easy to work with as you guys can see they're not too sticky they're kind of like a medium consistency like they're not super stiff but they're not super loose either um, they're like kind of in the middle which I kind of like because it gives me it feel I feel like I have full control over the poly gel and where it's going which is really nice so yeah I'm just gonna pat it sidewall to sidewall on this um, on the tip here and then I just really want to get it nice and, and flat here. And that looks pretty good too. Um, looking at it from the barrel here, it doesn't look too thick, which is nice. So I think I had applied just enough. Um, and then I want to make sure I get this sidewall too. You see how this sidewall isn't fully covered. So I'm literally just going to kind of pat it down just to kind of bring the rest of that product over like so. Yeah, yeah, that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in place. So that's what that looks like after it's been cured. Now I'm gonna go in with my cuticle bead, bead number two, just to build up that apex here. I'm gonna drain off most of the alcohol from my brush. And then now I'm gonna go in and try and mold this into place. Yeah, I'm not too good at ombre you guys. Um, so if you guys got any pointers or tips on how to make the ombre look more like an ombre. So I think it looks a little bit too stark of a line. This is what the nails are looking like so far, y'all. This pinky nail was a struggle and a half. I could not get the shaping right on that at all. So I'm really hoping I could fix that with filing. But now I wanna go in with the these three fingers encapsul and clear encapsulate i want to cure encapsulate this nail as well but honestly i have to file off so much of it to shape it 
I'm gonna just wait on that um, and just file it and shape it as is because I don't want that nail to be too bulky. I feel like it already is. And so yeah, let's see what we can do. <laughs> let's see what we can do with this because I'm not really, it's not too hot. The only nail I'm really loving is that marble. So let's see, these ombres didn't come out too well, but um, another recommendation from Nelly was this uh, IBD Builder Gel. I see her use this in a lot of her videos, her encapsulate. So I do have this as well. I've actually never used this product before, so let's see how it works for cure encapsulating, okay? And y'all know for these type of seals, I like to use an old cuticle pusher to open it up. That's nice and clear though. I don't say that, it's clear. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush that I used for the poly gel and pick up some of it. I'm gonna just take up some of the builder gel and just um, cure encapsulate with it. All right, y'all, we got a lot going on in this video. So I normally see people do like a slip layer first. So that's what I'm gonna go on and do. I'm gonna do a slip layer. I'm not gonna do the whole nail. I really just need to build up the structure here. So that's kind of where I'm gonna start at and just build the structure from the middle. So I'm gonna just set the bead down like so. And then just float it down the, float it down the nail like this. That looks good enough to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. This is what that nails looks like after I built up the structure a little bit more. I'm okay with how that looks. So I'm gonna repeat the process on my ring finger. And I'm actually gonna do it just with my hand down here so I can have a little bit more control of what's going on. Cause trying to stay in frame is making this more difficult. I feel like than it needs to be. So let's go with it from here. So I'm gonna do my slip layer first. So I'm gonna do a thin layer over the entire nail. And then I'm gonna take a good dollop here, like this much here, and I'm gonna use that to encapsulate the nail. I'm gonna set it down at the middle, and then just kind of work my way down. Kind of going left, right, left, right. So that's what the middle finger looks like after it's been cured. I'm just gonna go through and do like a really thin layer of builder gel over the middle nail just to encapsulate the glitters. All right, y'all, so this is how the nails are looking after they've been cured encapsulated with the builder gel. And yeah, I think the shaping looks so-so. <laughs> I really tried on this one y'all so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and spray the nails down with some alcohol so I can get to shaping filing and shaping the nails so I'm gonna do this twice just to make sure I have a nice clean surface to file on I do have my hand file so last time in my in my uh, first time doing builder gel nails um, I got some recommendations to just try and do use a hand file for my filing especially when I'm working with gels so that's what I'm gonna plan to do for this particular set right here actually before I even get into it though let's let's take a moment for this middle finger though I feel like the shape on this turned out really good and the marble turned out really good too before I even touch it I feel like that's this is a good base to start with this not so much, this not so much, but this middle finger looks real good, y'all. All right, so let's get to shaping, probably in shaping, y'all. Let's see what we can, we can get. This is what the nails are looking like after it's been file shaped and buffed. This is what the nails are looking like after they've been file shaped and buffed. 
I'm not gonna lie y'all, that was a lot of work to get this set done, like, wow. I think I've been at this for like four hours now. And it's so interesting because now it's like, you know, all the cool artwork and stuff I wanted to do on the nails, I'm just kinda like tired now. <laughs> so again, kudos to people who actually sculpt and shape their nails for every single video. Like that is crazy. Like that's a lot of work that goes into this. I'm gonna go in with this Bella Vina double dip base coat here and apply it to all the nails. And then I'm gonna top coat all the nails and then kind of decide what I wanna do. Cause honestly at this point I have no idea. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh y'all wait, I forgot my little diamond, okay. Yeah, I forgot to bring the little diamond out. That's pretty though. Ah, that's a nice, that's a nice glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. This is what it looks like after it has the base coat and top coat put on. I do like how it is looking, y'all. It's looking really pretty. Now it's time for artwork. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I'm exhausted, but um, I think I'm gonna keep it quick and simple and easy because I think I'm ready to go to sleep now. <laughs> okay, so I did find, um, like I said, I wanted to use this butterfly. Okay, and then I also wanted to use this unicorn sticker. I guess this is going to kind of be like fairy unicorn kind of themed for the foil. I am going to go in with the McCart foil glue. Um, and yeah, I've had a lot of practice with my uh, foils and this is like a really nice, quick, easy way to get some nail art done. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer to the nail here. And then I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. The key with the foil glue is after you cure it for 60 seconds, you do have to wait 30 seconds. So I'm just going to fan it out really quick just to kind of get it to dry a little bit. But when you wait those 30 seconds, it does allow for a better adhesion. Then you want to place it where you want it to go. I want mine to go like right about here. And then once you get it on the nail, you just press down and just rub it on in. And you essentially want to just keep rubbing until it starts to naturally separate from the um, backing of the foil sheet. Once you feel like you have a good transfer, you'll go ahead and remove the foil from the nail. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Nice, beautiful transfer there. So that's my little unicorn coming out of the glitter here. I think that's really cute really pretty. I know I want to add the butterfly to this nail so I am going to go ahead and do that as well. Since it's a chunky charm I am going to use poly gel to adhere this. I do have my clear poly gel from XXC. I do feel like this is really good for adhering bigger charms and such. It's going to apply just a little bit of the poly gel to the center of the nail. I'm going to go in with my top coat. Set it right in the center of that poly gel, like so. Like this. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. All right, so that's what the butterfly looks like after it's been adhered to the nail. And y'all know me, my sets ain't complete without a little bit of blingtivity, so I am gonna go in with just, just some, some very, very modest bling, y'all. I'm just gonna do one little bling uh, rhinestone here at the cuticle on all the nails. Um, I did find these rhinestones here that I want to use. I thought that it would go in really perfectly with the set. Yeah, I'm going to go in with just my top coat to all the nails. Ooh, yeah, she's looking really cute, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera. I'm going to throw some cuticle oil on these fingers and then we don't get into the finished look, okay? So I just finished sculpting my thumbnail off camera and I just wanted to kind of show what it looks like because I'm pretty impressed at this and I feel like my ombre came out really good. So before I touch the nail, I just wanted to come on here real quick and show y'all this. Like it looked nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply top coat and I'm going to finish this nail off camera but I just had to, I had to take a moment for the shaper, okay? I feel like it was a little bit easier to do it off camera, so maybe that's part of my hiccup too with trying to film it, but yeah, y'all, I'll be back. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Okay, y'all, so we are here with the finished look. I am loving how she turned out. This is my shaping 
for my poly gel nails. Um, it is kind of hard to see the full shaping for me when I do stuff on top of the nails, but I tried to keep the um, design a little bit simple so that the actual shape could be the start of the show. But yeah, y'all, I'm loving how this little butterfly is on here just to hanging out. Isn't she just so cute though? Look at that. The little wings actually flap on the butterfly. I love that a lot, so yeah. Um, this is how it turned out. I really like how it looks. It's giving um, fairy, unicorn, dream, wonderland kind of vibes for me. So yeah, y'all know I had to have a little bit of bling activity, so I got the cuticle bling there. And yeah, y'all, I think I turned. I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you all think about my shaping for my poly gel and sculpting the nail. Any tips, tricks, suggestions? Definitely feel free to leave them down below because I am still a work in progress, y'all. Okay. And so my final thoughts on the Rosalind poly gel I've really enjoyed working with these poly gels so I like the consistency of them they're not too stiff and they're not too loose I feel like they're right in the middle which is pretty nice especially for a beginner so I would say that these are beginner friendly the other thing I really love about these poly gels is how huge these tubes are you guys you get 60 m so that's two ounces of poly gel which is a lot you all saw I did use a couple of other poly gels in this tutorial and these are only one ounce so you definitely get you get literally twice the size of like the average poly gel which I think is pretty amazing um, and the price is very affordable these products are available on Amazon um, and I do have a 10% off discount code for you all um, and so I will leave that on the screen here and I'll also leave that link down in the description box below but even outside of having the discount these are pretty affordable for the size and the amount and the nice consistency that it is for these two poly gels for a pack they're only like 10 bucks so it's like five dollars for a tube of this which is really not bad at all because some other brands they charge like 15 dollars for just one tube that's 30 ml so i definitely think this stuff is worth it so i will leave the links for this link down in the description box below i'll be excited to add more of these poly gels to my collection because like i said i really enjoy the consistency of them so yeah a special thanks to rosalind for sending these over to me for review i definitely enjoyed working with them I do think that these brushes made a difference, especially with being able to get nice and close to the cuticle area. So, yeah, I will also leave these linked down in the description box below. These are some really good brushes to use if you're working on sculpting poly gels. Back to the set, y'all. So, I will say my little butterfly actually fell off. One of the wings fell off. I put it back on and it made it sideways. And I actually think that adds to the look a little bit more so let me know what y'all think about my Manny um, I am going to try to continue practicing sculpting my nail with different mediums next week I don't know I'm either going to do acrylic or dip powder um, I would like to do acrylic next week so we'll see if I can get it if I can find the time to do it because I'm not gonna lie you guys this stuff does take a really long time to do like this set took me like six seven hours to do you know so <laughs> trying to do that and then edit it's a lot, but um, I do want to make sure I'm still practicing sculpting. So I'm, next week, I'm going to try my best to do acrylic. Um, and if not, then I'll go ahead and do dip powder and then acrylic after that. And I do have a full tutorial on this set as well. These are some beautiful cherry poly gel nails I did. And I did this set using the Lazy Girl method. So if you all want to check that out, I'll leave that link down below as well. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys. Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!